Learn how to certify your instruments in Newland Online Dealings. There are many ways to navigate to the Certify and Sign page. We'll only be showing you a couple of ways in this video. From your landing page, select the three dots at the end of the dealing row to bring up the drop down menu and then select Certify and Sign. From within the dealing, select Certify and Sign from the left hand navigation bar. Here you will find all the instruments listed that your firm is responsible for signing in the dealing. The status column shows where an instrument is at in the dealing workflow and will either be signed, draft or part signed. Icons on the left show where an instrument is at in the signing process. A green tick shows the instrument has been fully signed. A circle with a red line through it shows the instrument failed the Certify and Sign business rules and is not ready for signing. A blue tick shows that an instrument has been part signed. If there's nothing showing to the left of the number in the instrument row, it means the instrument is ready for signing. If an instrument has failed the Certify and Sign business rules, you'll need to correct the error before you can sign it. Select the Pre-Validate Dealing tab in the left-handed navigation panel to see what the error relates to. To see the issue, run Pre-Validation by selecting the Run Dealing Pre-Validation icon at the top of the page, or by selecting the Run Pre-Validation on Dealing button at the bottom of the page. Once you've corrected the error, navigate back to the Certify and Sign page. To begin certifying, select the row for an instrument. The Instrument Preview and Certifications panel will slide out. By default, the Instrument Preview tab is selected. You can change the width of the slide out panel by hovering over the left hand edge of the panel to clicking and holding the mouse down, and then dragging the edge to make the panel wider or narrower. To close the slide out panel, select the X at the top right hand corner. If you can't view the instrument preview, select the icon next to the instrument preview label to download the preview. You can also download or print the preview by selecting the appropriate icon at the top right of the instrument preview. Use the scroll bar on the right hand side of the preview to see further details. Once you're satisfied the information in the preview is correct, select the Certifications tab to view the certifications. Read through the certifications and select the checkbox to confirm your certification. You can proceed to sign this instrument by selecting the Proceed to Sign button or navigate to the next instrument you need to certify. You have a number of ways to navigate to another instrument. You can use the buttons at the bottom of the panel to view a previous instrument or the next instrument. You can use the arrows at the top of the panel to navigate between instruments. And you can also navigate to another instrument by selecting it from the Certify and Sign page. We are acting on behalf of all parties in this dealing, so we need to work through all the certifications. When there are multiple conveyancy professionals representing a single role, select the CP and party you are certifying and signing for. You can also do this on behalf of another conveyancy professional in your firm. By default, your name should pre-populate in the CP representative field. However, if you're certifying or signing on behalf of another conveyancy professional in your firm, click the field and select the name of the conveyancy professional you're signing on behalf of. Check the checkbox in the parties area next to the party for which you are certifying and signing. Once you've selected the CPs and parties, 
read through the certifications and select the checkbox to confirm the certifications. You can navigate between certifications by selecting the role at the top of the panel and once you've completed the certifications for a role, a green tick will appear next to the role name. If your dealing contains special certifications, read the special matters section and select the option that best satisfies the certification. Once you've certified all the instruments, select the proceed to sign button. You'll be taken to the second page of the certify and sign process. This brings us to the end of the Certify Your Instruments video. Hei